and welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 6 Expert, where today we're going to be making some centrifuges, and maybe, maybe actually using this guy, he does look like a happy robot, totally. Uh, but what we are going to need to get into first is a little bit of nature's aura, and I want to start that by getting the more annoying things out of the way. And that's going to be ice charges, earth charges, and lightning charges. Now the main ingredients for these are like blizz powder, which we get from blizz cubes, which we get from blizzes, or blizz honeycombs, which come from a blizz bee. So this bee can be acquired via the mutic, mutagenic properties of the blaze bee. So I believe we just have to get a blaze bee to fly over top of a blizz or a blitz yeah a blizz a blitz and a bazals and i happen to have uh stored one of these very handy things we got as a quest reward i think because i can't make these yet um, i'm not actually sure how far away we would be from being able to make these but yeah in here it's a bazals so where i found him in the nether just flying around um, the only other one of these soul gems I have is this dude, which has our Iron Golem. Queen Jonathan the Strange. Um, I would like him to stay, stay hanging around. You can, you can just walk around down here, mate. Don't, don't break anything. Um, so we can go and catch one of the other two, but I may as well convert this guy first. So we do have a Blitzby. And he is... Right there. Um, if we want to convert, we can either try and sneak into this and put the bazelles on the ground and get him to fly over, or we could set up a little, you know, a little run. Um, I'll have to make another one of those blaze cakes. Just get him to fly across. That might be what we do. So let's set up one of them, and then, then we can go catch these other two guys. Okay. So a slight enclosure here. Now, I don't know how big a Bazal's is, but he kind of looked like he should fit in there. So I also probably want another jar. Um, I want another jar. So if we release this Bazal's bee, he's going to go onto that guy. I mean the blaze bee. If we chuck this guy here, Oh. Dude. Mate. <laughs> he killed the blaze bee. That is unfortunate. Um, and I was just about to go and pick the bazelles up so he wouldn't despawn, and he despawned. <sighs> well, I mean, I guess now I can use this for mutating the... The other bees. Uh, we're going to need a flower. I don't think those count. This this one will count. I just realized, in my inventory, I have a blaze lava. I wonder if that was because the bee died. Because you can use these to make another blaze bee. Huh. That's cool. I did not know that was a thing. I'm not going to test it out, but I assume that's how I got that. Neat. You're pollinated. Fly over, fly over this guy. Yes, there's one. <laughs> and there's two. Yoink. Cool. Um, we will leave this here. I mean, we've got three, so we can breed some of these now. Let's let's try this again. Oh, I just ate some of that. I hope that doesn't stop the thing from working. Oh, that's right, our bazelles despawned. I have to go catch another one. Well, yeah, no, that, that, that's a thing. Okay, sure. Well, just spotted a blitz. And that'll do. So that's one. And that's the more useful one. Cool, so uh, let's go find a mountain. I think I vaguely remember them. Oh, they're that way. Oh. 
and uh whoa. yeah now the mansion it is it has seen better days much better days i think i flew too fast <laughs> it's uh stuck waiting for server um, but didn't manage to find another one but we did get our one blitz and he looked a little bit less violent than that bazelles we tried to convert first time um but uh, I feel like I may need to restart the game. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll go and try and convert this guy. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, so somehow I managed to totally not record a whole section there. Um, but we did it. <laughs> we got ourselves a Blitzby. I just chucked the Blitz down there. Well, the Blitz. Um, and had the other bee flying around. And he flew over and got him. Uh, and yeah, so we've got one of them. Uh, all I need now is to make a Sky Slime Cake because that's his flower. Um, briefly looked at Nocturnal Powder because it was telling us that uh, Bazelles and Blitz and stuff. So Bazelles spawn in like biomes such as the Badlands, so we might go find one of them. Uh, and it was saying Mechanical Dirt and Nocturnal Powder are good for farming them. And by the look of it, we could almost make Nocturnal Powder. We just need to make a blank slate, which needs an other stone slate, which we can get all this stuff now, so we could make this. But I'll try my luck. I'll try my luck just by farming them at night. And if that doesn't work, we'll whip we'll up one of these and that should help. Hey, there we go. That is exactly what we're after. And we might as well grab two. Now I just need to get them into that hive. And uh, turn them into bees. Mate. No. This time we're going to be a little bit more careful because we know that this guy will kind of do some sort of AOE attack. Yeah, so he's doing that at the moment. That looks pretty normal. I think we can get him now. Um, hopefully we can find the one that's already pollinated. Not you, you are tiny. So this one. You pollinated? You are. Cool. So you go in there. Eventually you fly over. Nice. 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 Yank. Um, and then we'll we'll grab you. Cool. A Bazelles bee. And he needs like an ender slime cake. I was, I was looking up what he uses. Uh, no, earth slime. Which is easy. There's like an earth slime island over there. But cool. Uh, so there's the Blitz and the Bazelles. And now all we need... Is that the baby one? Yes. All we need is the Blizz. But of course, it's daytime. So now we have to wait. Oh, and I just spotted one. There we go, there we go. He took a while to find. Oh, we've still got the bazelles in there. That's right, we got two of them. Oh. Dude, come back. Oh, come on, we gotta get him. Oh. Did we get him? Ah, we got him. Nice. Um, a second one would be good, but I don't have enough. I don't have enough soul gems. Oh, he has not converted him. <laughs> <laughs> um oh there we go i just saw it happen <sighs> yeah a little bit scary a little bit scary but nice that's them um i still have to get one more cake and that is so i've got the sky slime one that was for the blitz bee so he's already set up blizz bee needed Ender slime, right. And Bazelles needed Earth slime. I can make Earth slime. Um, Ender slime, I assume, comes from the end. I think I vaguely remember seeing uh, slime islands around there. I guess I guess we take all this. Do I need this much uh, Ender slime? I have no idea. Through the two buckets, sweet. And then make sure to grab some of the grass, and then yeah. I mean, I guess we could. I guess we grab some of that. Might be useful. 
you're gonna go there, you're gonna go there. Maybe we end up with another cake back there. Cool. So Bazelle's bees go in. Blizzby goes in. Nine out of nine bees. Need to make sure to unlock them. Cool. And then eventually we're going to start getting the honeycombs from them. Now I need to take all of this out, otherwise it's not going to work. <laughs> yes, centrifuges are the next thing we need to start getting uh, getting to work. So we can get rid of all this. We've we've done that. Let's hold off on doing that stuff. Cool. So we need that earth charge. Which we get from the Bazel shards. Yeah. We need the Bazel's honeycomb. He's working. He's he's working on it. I guess I'll just set up some centrifuges for a start, just the basic ones, uh, so I can start processing some other stuff. And then then we'll be on to the good ones. Cool, so Blitz Honeycomb, Bazal's Honeycomb, and Blitz Honeycomb. And I guess we can do Blaze. We don't we don't really need it right now. But uh let's let's try this out. Um, I guess we're kind of going to have to do this. He's going to start processing. Any liquid should... I mean, we might see it. <laughs> we might see the liquid, but at least these machines don't require the bottles in them anymore. A snowball. Oh. That's not what I want. That is not what I want. Another snowball. Oh. Um. Oh. That's one of the things we need. Oh, we get we get slag from that too. Okay, so it seems like it's we got blitz. We didn't get the blizz. So it's not a super high chance, but eventually, eventually we'll get the stuff we want. And uh. In the meantime, I I can start I can start processing some of the many many honeycombs, and I'm just gonna be putting junk in junk in the junk bag. But the rest of the stuff, the rest of this, all of these honeycombs can uh, can I get processed. And we don't have to worry about uh, constantly putting bottles in there. That's going to be way, way better. Because I wasn't even using that honey for anything anyway. Well, as we're waiting for a bit of bee produce, I've discovered that I need a bunch of living wood. Well, not heaps. I mean, I could I could do what I'm about to do, probably reasonably manually, but we're, we're going to do it this way. So I've set this destructor up. Now these things break blocks and I think suck them into the, the refined storage system. Hopefully they don't draw too much power. But I've blacklisted this flourishing archwood log. So if we put that there, he won't break it. Cool. Then we're going to, I mean, he's not, he's not gonna go there. We're gonna plonk. This daisy. Why did I think that was the recipe? Why did I think that was the recipe? Don't we have to convert that first? Oh, it's the fully converted one. That would do it. For a second I thought it was the ones you had to convert with blood magic. Okay, so blacklist this log. Nice. Um, and then we're going to hook up a constructor. And I think we should be able to tell it to do that. And then if these are all in the system, that should be all we need to do. Now, I wouldn't mind whitelisting you know, the actual block we're trying to make. Uh, and actually, once this finishes, I'm probably going to go... Just plonk some around this just to, to get the bits and pieces I need faster. 
But this will be like some passive, semi-passive plant generation. And actually, I think this should go behind. Yeah, this should go behind. This, this shouldn't go there. We'll move that. We'll move that. Yeah, eventually... Nice. So obviously it's not going to quite be that fast. But this will get us the living wood we need for those. Uh, we need fences. We need to... Uh, yeah, I haven't, haven't explained what I'm doing here. I'm creating these wooden stands because we need to be able to do this ritual of the forest. Um, and it requires wooden stands which need arcane gold, appetite, gold leaves and living wood walls. Which are made of living wood, which we're currently making. Uh, the other thing I'm doing is trying to spread my golden leaf infestation. And it started. It started. Pretty slowly. Um, if we need more golden leaves, I'll probably end up planting trees instead of just relying on this pillar. But eventually this is going to spread over to these trees, because I, I, this is kind of in the way. Kind of. Yeah, alright. I'll carry on doing these bits and pieces, um, and we'll we'll craft craft some wooden stands and get ourselves this altar. All right, time to see if I remember how nature's aura uh, rituals work. So there we have our ritual of the forest stands. So if we put the tree there, hopefully he doesn't grow. Um, I don't think you need to use these saplings, but you'll find it normally shows them in the recipe, but I'm pretty sure it, it's not something you need. Now, from memory... That's not quite right, is it? So something like... No, I'm going to have to look it up. <laughs> I don't remember what the thing is. I've done it like once before when I was just playing around. Um, but if we get our book and we find the nature's aura, um, nature's aura, um, ritual of the forest. Ah, right, not quite, not quite. Then we can, there we can. Right, click to visualize how this should go. I mean, that's not bad, I'll probably, you know. Tidy this up a little bit. Cool. So, uh, essentially, if you've never played around with nature's aura before, you put stuff on the pedestals, and when the tree grows, instead of the tree becoming like a big tall tree, it absorbs the the natural energy or something of it, and uh, uses that to craft with what you've got in there. So that's how we're going to craft this this nat natural altar. And we got some of the stuff. We got some of the stuff. Not everything. So a couple of warding stones and gold leaf. Um, we're also missing a token of joy. Now we have a token. I don't think it's the token of joy. That might be the first thing we have to craft. Now I did have a token in the system that I think was probably a nature's aura quest reward. We got a token of joy. That's the one we need. Okay. Let's let's just use that one. Nice. Um, and then we're just missing a fire charge. Nope. A fire charge. So warding stone, gold leaf thing. Um, and then it's just like the ice charge, which we can't make yet. Um, I actually think I have a lightning charge and an earth charge. Lightning charge. Um, we should have, we've got some bazel shards, and a little bit of waste, I'm pretty sure you can, um, pulverize that and get more. Definitely. All right, all right. There are all the ingredients. We chuck on one of these saplings, and then we should just be able to bone mill it. Huh. Oh. Oh. 
No, that'll that'll do it. That'll do it. Uh, these need to be converted into charges, not just not just the compacted one. And I chucked in a doorway here because I got sick of running right around the edge. <laughs> yep, yep. Create a flight's going to be good. Uh, right, so we'll grab some earth charges. We will grab some ice charges, and then. Then, so not them, this thing and this thing, and be careful not to right click it on the ground or I think it'll release whatever's stored in those charges. But this time, there we go. Nice. Oh, natural altar. Cool. That's pretty sweet. So yeah, stop looking at quests, because that's not really what we're trying to do. We just want to get infused sun metal. So our options are the natural altar, which if we look in the matches or book, I believe is a multi-block as well. Um, I thought it was. Yes, yeah, so there's a little bit of a, a thing we have to do. Um, I mean, I probably actually don't need to, to visualize it now. We'll, we'll construct one of them. I need to figure out where we want to start putting this stuff. This is kind of our magical area, so... Yeah, I might move this. We'll set up an area. Uh, and then we just need to get sun metal blocks. Or bricks, rather. And that's sun metal blend, which was, yeah, easy. And, uh, semi-automated. It actually wouldn't be too bad to set up auto-crafting here. But, uh, just crafting that sun metal blend, so... Uh, once that's finished... We just need the golden bricks. Which does require... Phytogrow, which we can craft. Mossy stone, which we can... Pass, we can kind of craft. And... Brilliant fiber, which... We got plenty of silk fiber. We're also crafting the sun metal blend, so yeah, should be pretty cool. And we don't even need a filter for extracting, extracting on this guy. So he only extracts finished recipes, which is nice. Cool. And I think once we oops, craft all eight of these bricks, we are ready uh, to craft. The natural altar. Boy, I got a lot of junk. I don't think these work. And this seems like a good a spot as any. Uh, yeah. We could have it closer to the base, but it might be nice to, to leave some stuff open, maybe to the shore. I don't know. Now, I'm not sure. But I think I have all of the bits for crafting this now. And I think. We're done. Awesome. That's cool. And it's absorbing uh, aura from, from nature. Now, this may not be the best place to, to build this. Oh, dude, that's cool. That is cool. Uh, because you do have areas in the world that are like high in natural aura. And it may not be this area. But we can move this around, but we can generate aura anyway, which we probably will be doing. So actually having this free space is going to be handy for, for some of the ways we do that. But all right, let's, let's smelt up some of the sun metal blend. I should have a little bit and we can get, we can get the start of, uh, of the sun metal. Sun metal? Sun metal. Pretty sure it's sun metal. Uh, and yeah, then we're, we're oh so close. Oh so close. And I think we're ready to try and create our sun metal ingot. Nice. Now we can do blocks. Ooh, awesome. And actually, just, just having a look at the recipe and how many of these bricks we're going to need, I, I think, potentially, potentially we need all of these sun metal that we've got so far turned into this. Now, I'm a little bit concerned we don't have enough ore in the area. Um, that could be an issue. Let's try and do a sun metal brick. So I probably want to be 
a little bit careful with how I do that. Um, I think we should be safe enough to keep going until we have to stop and then and then we'll then we'll stop. Like uh, keep going until it stops creating the recipes. There potentially will be some negative effects, but I don't think we'll get the really bad stuff, which is like the ter the terrain starts exploding. We should claim some of this too. That might stop it. But sweet. We got our we got our sun metal ingots. They're used for well, I'm picking a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, we've got ourselves some sun metal ingots, and some metal blocks, and we're ready, ready to make that centrifuge. Uh, but we'll, we'll assemble that uh, next episode because it's going to take a while to craft this. But hey, it's been Classy Duff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.